Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I will be showing you how to update from Studio One 6 Artist version to Studio One 7 Pro version. I have worked with different Studio One Artist versions and I feel that now that I am using outboard gear more often and reamping more frequently, I really need the Pro version. One of the plugins that I am looking forward to use in the Pro version that will help me route the signal in and out of Studio One is Pipeline XT because it manages the latency very well and it saves my outboard gear routing preferences. I also look forward to mastering with Studio One Pro. I have been mastering digitally with Ozone or with T-Rex from IK Multimedia. With the Pro version, I'll be able to use all my plugins in Studio One and incorporate outboard gear like my SSL Boss Plus compressor. Okay. Let me show you the Studio One Artist versions that I still have in my different devices and then go straight to the upgrade process. Let's get into it. All right, and here we have Studio One 4 in this laptop and you can see it's a direct desktop link and in the other laptop we have Studio One 5 as you can see and the direct link is pinned to the taskbar right there. And then we have two times Studio One 6. This first one is actually on my PC and you can see the desktop link right there. And the final one, which is the one we're going to be updating today to Studio One 7 is the one in my Apple device, Studio One 6 in my Mac Studio right there, also pin at the bottom. All right, and we are here in Studio One Artist version still. So this is still Studio One 6. So let's go to the top right to this green upgrade button and let's click over there. And it's gonna bring us to the presonus.com website. And you can see if you wanna buy it brand new, then it is $140. But because I'm not signing yet, it doesn't know I already have a license. So I just need to pay for the upgrade and get my 30% off on this year end sale. So let's go ahead and log in for eligible discounts at the bottom of this page. And you will see that it is only $105 for the license upgrade. And there's other plans as well. You can see in the center, the annual plan right there or the monthly, uh, depending what type of license you would like. Now, let me do something really, really quick. Let me open Sweetwater because there is another way to get the license and it is by going to websites like Sweetwater and then look for Studio One and you will also see the options to upgrade your license. And you can see here the different um, sales that they're having. And in the left side of the screen, it has a similar price as well. So $45 off for the license upgrade. So I'm just gonna close the Sweetwater website and I'm gonna do it here directly in studio one.com. Uh, I am logged in, so I'll click here in the purple upgrade license and you can see it is gonna be 104 with 99 cents. And of course, because I'm logged in, it knows my name and last name. So I'm going to put all my credentials for my credit card. And now that it's all ready, click upgrade over there. And I am about to purchase Studio One Pro 7. And it is almost there. And it is done. Studio One Pro 7. I'm extremely excited because I'll be able to have things like Pipeline XT that will help me with my outboard gear and reamping. But basically, this is what comes with your license. But let me do something first. Let me go back to my artist version and see if it upgrades from the bottom here. Checking for updates. No. 
So I actually need to go back here and download the package. And um, let me click here to the right just to see what comes with it. And it says these products come with your Studio One Pro license. So it's pretty cool. So I'll click on the left uh, side right here where it says download. This is for Apple. Now it comes at the top right. Double click over there. Here it is. Now I'm going to drag the Studio One 7 app into the applications folder of my Mac. Now I'm going to open all my applications. I'm going to look for Studio One 7. Here it is. So double click over there. And now it's time to start opening and accepting the different prompts. There it is. It's activating the product. OK, over here. And it's going to start coming in and you can see it's going on and on. So it is starting to detect all my different plugins. So this is going to take a little bit, but I'm going to speed it up. All right. Here we are almost at the end of all the plugins, UAD plugins and different things. So that's fantastic. There it goes. And it keeps going. It is almost done. And now it asks me if I want to install all the packages. And I will definitely like to do that. So install all 23 items. Yes, you'll need uh, some space in your hard disk or whatever you're installing it, but um, it should not take very long. So let's go ahead and fast forward. Okay, here we are. Everything has been installed. So um, restart now. And you can see it restarted right there. And here it is, Studio One Pro. I'm extremely excited. Now let me open a new song just to make sure. There it is. And let me write here, Studio One seven pro i'll now click ok that it's perfect and let me add a track just by pressing the letter t there it is that is perfect over there now let me um go back to check for uh, the different updates and you can see now it is the version Studio One 7 right there. That is fantastic. So I'll click OK. Note that my audio interface uh, got changed. So that's something I'm gonna I'm gonna have to readjust. So what I'm gonna do is just go to uh, my playback devices and choose my audio interface and Everything uh, goes back to my universal audio Apollo X6. So automatically it was already there. So it was just a matter to adjust. So now let me go back to the track that I just created. And I need to look for an effect, which is Pipeline XT, just to make sure this is the version I am looking for because Pipeline XT is a huge reason for me to have done the upgrade. So here it is, this is Pipeline XT, and this plugin is not available in the artist version, so now we are 100% sure everything worked out perfectly. All right, Studio One Pro 7 was installed well. Let me know in the comments below if you found the process smooth. All right, and that is all for this episode. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button, and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.